And so in the 1980s, Baltimore shock trauma in Maryland, uh, there were two physicians that were interested in trying to classify pelvic fractures, but they didn't just want to break them down into the different types of pelvic fractures. They wanted to understand how the mechanism of injury causes certain patterns to occur in how the pelvis breaks. And so uh, Dr. Jeremy Young and Dr. Andrew Burgess, the story is that they would put up different films and they would try to guess the mechanism of injury. And then they would look at the EMS report and see if they could correlate, uh, or the police report, the mechanism of injury that caused the pelvic fracture with the patterns that they were seeing on the x-ray. And they were able to classify these into different categories. Now, the three main categories that they would put them in is either anterior posterior compression, lateral compression, or vertical shear. And then there was a fourth that was just complex, meaning it was probably a combination of all of these. And I thought this was cool because uh, this paper that they put out could be something EMS could use to identify what type of pelvic fractures may not benefit from a pelvic binder. For example, uh, the lateral compression traditionally does not need pelvic binding. It can actually make it worse.